Hello, hello everybody, it's your boy Prof Shop, and we're back again with another video. This is from a channel we haven't watched in a while, Casual Geographic. This is every Baron's chance of retiring you from life. Let's check it out, y'all. I haven't checked out this channel in a long, it's long time. That one of the best ways to see how a guy's mind works, to okay. really see what type of person you're dealing mm -hmm. with, ask one question. What's the biggest animal you can beat in a fight? You ask that and you're... Okay, what do you guys think? Let me think for a second. The biggest animal, I think I can take care of a donkey. They attack by biting people and kicking them with their legs, but they kick behind. Yeah, I think I can, I think I can take care of a donkey. Plus, I'm pretty good with that, so You'll you know what I mean. In short time. And in 2021, British firm YouGov did a survey. Oh, There's six percent of Americans thinking they could be the grizzly bear. Listen, are you out of your mind? Grizzly bears are giant. People, eight percent of people think, and then wait way less more people think they can beat an elephant they didn't think then they people think they can beat a grizzly bear in what universe in what universe well, mostly the six percent of americans that think they could handle a grizzly without getting their existence Dope. abolished 17 percent think they could be the chimpanzee you know how strong those things are Yeah, oh hell no. Nah. It would take. Bears are inevitable enough to be one of the few animals yeah. I have a one shot rule against. As in, if they're coming at me full force and I have one shot in the chamber, I'm using it to self medicate my exit off the mortal coil. I'm well, there used to be a situation, I think I read about a case where a hunter shot a grizzly bear in the head. It was back in the day in America and it didn't die. He shot it multiple times with a rifle. Thick skulls, brother. Attack, but I'm for sure not surviving my reaction to one. I'll same day shit myself to the Lord's door before I let a chimp handle me. And I'll self-subtract with the oh. quickness before a bear oh. makes me part of its business. Bears are the most conceptually inconsiderate creatures in nature. Basically a giant oh. unhinged dog with every possible attribute maxed. Think about yeah. it. Nature dropped an apex all-terrain. Like, look at that. that can look at that. You and just let the rest of the population deal with it. But what's the most dangerous bear actually? Well, today we're going to well, be talking about... It's a polar bear, isn't it? Because they don't, they don't know humans, so they hunt them. Like most of the other ones, like black bears are afraid of humans. These, the Asian bears are kind of useless, even though they're kind of dangerous. But it's polar, then it's good, isn't it? Bear Brown. And its chances of putting you on a shirt. Each bear will get a merc rating. A merc rating. Might eviscerate, ravage, or just cancel you. <laughs> yeah, that's de definitely the K word yeah. that's supposed to be there. And as always, each rating will be in my very biased opinion. Yep. But yeah, call me Joe Rogan or Grinder Gladiator. Either way, we are going down to bear hole. Starting with the sun bear. Named the after the bear. thing he spent way too long looking at. Those Bruh, eyes those stared eyes. at the void and the void blinked first. And yes, they're built like they barely qualify to be here. Look at that. Just from creepiness rating alone, that thing should be on top. Looks like a bear with crippling social Not society, actually on like top of people because they were recently involved in a controversy Ugh. in China. The controversy oh. wasn't nobody believed that wasn't a man in costume. To be fair, there is the ass, least though. coded Ursus out there. No ass? The smallest in the world at no heavier than a buck forty. And be honest, how long would it take for you to guess that foot was a Yeah, a buck forty, that's still most than most people. And if, like who's in shape at one forty? And so much kilos. Cousin. Those bare feet help them climb trees, and some bears well, are the most so ugly. of them all. But how dangerous is this identity crisis? Well, they're shy, reclusive, and mostly eat fruits and plants. They're also trigger happy, nearly blind, and they share real estate with tigers. Sun bears are known to attack people when caught off guard, and their poor eyesight means they can easily get jump scared by humans. They also have one of the strongest bite forces relative to body size of any bear. But probably only because. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Fun fact? Some bears are the smallest bears in the world, but have the same size teeth as polar Hey. ...of any bear. But well, probably only because they use teeth to rip through tree bark. There was okay. even one case where a sun bear tiger showdown ended up with both of them becoming past tense. So what could they do to a human? Well, from Kill 2000 you. to 2010, there were yes. 33 sun bear attacks on humans, with the most common injuries being facial. But all the attacks were accidental encounters, where the sun bears would probably argue self-defense. And to my knowledge, there are no recorded cases of a sun bear killing a person. So oh. with no body count and being the smallest, huh. also being neurotic enough to be a threat, well, I'll give the sun bear... Did you see the claws? I mean, nowadays we see women with bigger claws than that, but come on, brother. Merc rating of five. These won't Next break you on your Andy head. Your head will break on them. Bear, for obvious Spec reasons. On paper, he's the biggest land predator in that part of South America. I've not only seen this thing before. Because only 5% of Four Eyes diet is meat. Like the sun bear, they're only really a jihad to fruits and plants. Mm. Also like the sun bear, the walking spectacle is very tree climbing. And they'll even build their Damn. version of a tree house to sleep in. To be fair, you don't really have a choice when your hall monitor's a jaguar. But don't think Lord, because he got glasses. They've been known to take out 
llamas, cows, and even tapers cows. twice their size. But how dangerous eh. are they to people? I mean, come on. A tapir? I'm pretty sure I could fuck up a tapir. Well, in 2004, an Andean bear Pierre. escaped from a Berlin zoo and made a beeline for the children's area. What followed was one of the most oh. gruesome displays ever caught on camera. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh. Apparently, the spectacled bear only has one human body on his record. And technically, it was a hunter That's... who shot the bear out of a tree only for the bear to land on him. I'm sorry, but if you Wait. fail physics that hard, you deserve to get... You shot the bear in the tree, the bear died, and it fell on your head and squished you. You know what we call that? We call that karma. Stupid motherfucker. Impacted by Paddington. And yes, Paddington was indeed a spectacle. Spectacles are also the closest living relative of... Yeah. Damn. The short-faced bear. Oh, the duality. But considering the only casualty was more to slapstick than a homicidal bear, I give the spectacled beast a merc rating of two. And now we're two. at the panda portion, which might confuse some since there's a genuine corner of the Wait. internet that'll tell you that pandas are an act. Yeah, I thought pandas were, like, useless. Just cute and they couldn't do anything. Bears. Those who don't believe China has an obese Don't they spend most of the time sleeping around. and digesting food? Being a bear but identifying as a bamboo processing plant is a questionable life choice. Mm. But one, bamboo is so protein packed that Ursus Oreo actually ends up getting just as much as wolves and feral cats. And two, binging huh? bamboo all day means pandas actually have one of the strongest bite forces of any land mammal. Really? Wild pandas usually avoid people and there's currently no record of a plus size eyeshadow Your wire? while killing a human. But Bro, those dudes are scarier than the panda. Did you see Pandas those? Will one hundred percent lash Jesus. out if they think you deserve it. Often with life-altering consequences. Nobody Ooh. demonstrated panda potential more than straight out the Beijing Zoo, a young panda named Gugu. In two thousand six, a drunk dude That's climbed a into the enclosure name. to give Gugu a hug, and Gugu gave him an attitude adjustment with his teeth. After several <laughs> minutes of fighting each other, this yes, wasn't that John Cena's the move? They were eventually separated with a fire hose. In two thousand seven, a teenager tried Gugu and got chunks ripped out of his legs to the point where bones were showing. And All in two thousand nine, right. listen, bro, if you have the brain capacity to then to jump into a cage with an animal that is like five times your size, I mean. <laughs> You kind of deserve what happens to you. Like, come on, brother. Father climbed Use brain. the barrier to retrieve a toy his son dropped. His reward was his leg caught in Gugu's vice grip jaws that keepers literally had to pry open. I really think Genius. if Panda didn't wear the makeup, y'all would not hey. be trying them like this. The worst hey. part about getting mauled by something so goofy is it probably takes a long time for bystanders to realize you're in trouble. They're the epitome of, I'm not a killer, but don't put... Bro, it probably takes a long time for you to, you know, croak as well. That would be a long, torturous session. And for that... They get a Merc rating of four, because really, you usually make me pay extra for those. What do you go? That is, that is. Now we got the black bear, aka the fight back. Badass. God which is damn it. True, black bears are more likely to run away than run a fade. But and if they don't, climb trees. Thank the natural order for that. Although they probably only learned that from dealing with another. Like, look at those list. things, bro. Black bears are high-key champion generalists. They're smart enough and adaptable enough to live almost anywhere in America. Also, they're not always black, but that's besides huh? the point. Moonlighting as a giant raccoon means Wait, they what? run into people more than the average bear and if you look at the numbers they might not be as harmless as the nursery rhyme suggests since 1784 there have been 66 times where a black bear and a human resulted in one less human pretty low <laughs> but there's more there's just under. i mean that doesn't seem that that many to be honest black bear conflicts a year 200 years are typically defensive 33 percent were food motivated and 15 percent were oh. predatory that number's interesting because that's actually higher than what you would see in brown bears. That is scary. Now I believe there's a slow but very real rise in predatory male black bears murking people. In fact, the first ever fatal black bear attack in California just happened last month. Male oh. blacks, but black bears. Males. Male blacks. They have a wider range. Hey, listen. <laughs> We can talk like that, brother. The desperate down bad male is more likely to try his luck on a hiker. The last stat I have is 88% of black bear assisted census subtractions were predatory, and 92% of those predatory pastimes were done by males. Mm. When I say slow rise, we are still talking about one person Dick a year. Also, apparently, none of those casualties carried pepper spray. So if you do that, ah. hike in groups and put food and garbage away. Oh, there is special pepper spray against bears that they make, and it goes farther so that, you know, it's. It's supposedly less uh, potent than human pepper spray, but it goes way farther and it sprays way more. Plus, bear senses are way stronger than human senses, so to them, that's way stronger than to us. Probably won't get cooked by Smokey. In fact, the majority of black bears. So buy some bear spray like if you have bears. Zone, neither Ooh. side gets touched. <laughs> so they're flight over fight and statistically harmless. But they live in close proximity with people and are technically more likely to see U.S. free pizza than grizzlies. So I'll give them a six point five out of. 
Ben? Six, final answer. Mm -hmm. Not unlike their Asian cousins, Fair enough. disclaimer. We're getting into the legitimately dangerous territory. The Brown? Asiatic black bear, also called the moon bear, is the first honest threat to human way of life. They're way more... I mean, that just looks like a normal black bear, doesn't it? More on site than American black bears. And a little bit matter, uglier. Even your it's bigger. Bears. To be fair, neither of no them neck. have to deal with a certain big cat. Like most Tiger? bears, they're most dangerous when people run into them in the bear fields cornered, and for that reason, attacks are on the rise. From April 2023 to just November, 212 people caught the wrong end of Asiatic aggression from a black bear. Damn! Died, and food scarcity means those numbers are probably going up. In fact, that's why they're a problem in Japan. You see, in Japan, there's a shift with young people leaving the countryside to go make bread in the big city, and food feeding bears moving into the now less crowded human neighborhoods. Now, it's never been easier Damn, to Japan. find problems with an Asian bear, and from 2000 to 2020, 2,357 black bear attacks have been recorded. 42.4% suffered severe injury, 1.2% that is a lot of attacks, and 4.8% lost the ability to exist. Damn. They're dead. And over 20% of those attacks happened Bro, in August, i.e. right around the time they're getting ready to hibernate. I mean, there was even a case Listen, it looks kind of fuzzy though. You kind of... That's the problem with most animals. Why are they so cute, goddammit? Why do I want to pet you and you can, you know, slice my head off? It's earlier this year where a Swiss man, man had to negotiate his arm with a Swiss knife after the Asian variety refused Swiss to knife? Since this is the first bear that is a somewhat regular threat to people, oh. I'm going to give the Asiatic black bear a 7.5. Bro, shit, it's smaller than the, the tigers. Bear bile farming thing, ah, we probably had it coming. And what? now we get to my honest inspiration for this video. Hey. The brown bear. What the hell is that but thing? Honestly, first I'm going to clear something up. The grizzly bear is a subspecies of the brown yeah. bear. Kind of like how the arctic wolf is an offshoot of the gray guy. The grizzly is basically a landlocked brown bear. They're further inland and their grocery list is a lot shorter, which is why even though they're the most famous, grizzlies aren't even the biggest bears brown and around. They're smaller Browning than Browning the around. What? The Kamchatka the? bear dwarfs grizzlies. Kamchatka? Mostly because of the fresh supply of salmon Russia? they get from shacking up on the Chumkatska Peninsula, which actually has the highest Kamchatka? density of brown bears Kamchatka? on the planet. There's like 20,000 of them there. And of course, Bro, look at that the thing. Kodiak bear, named after the Kodiak Islands nature was forced to vault it on. They can outweigh a grizzly by almost 500 Jeez, pounds. That's look at that unit, brother. It still looks kind of cute, though. But God damn. The pescatarian. That is a whole mountain of a bear. Grizzly yeah. bears are smaller, and but the higher competition. Six people, six percent of Americans think they, they can. They think they can beat that with no gun and no weapons. Like, come on, brother. And no in hell from coastal calories makes them that much more aggressive which makes them and i don't like to curse that much my mom watches me but that is a fucking problem they're it like is. A predatory thanos your demise is inevitable problem. if they green light it they have jaws that can crush a bowling ball pause that mean you're a high five away from ball yeah. like manual hansel i've seen oh, them punk where's second hand out of food and they might be the only thing alive that can choke slam a moose there's only one video that truly encapsulates how fornicated you are if a grizzly jesus is. look at that well, speed other than this here you have a grizzly run and okay. way, 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 wow, we st we're still going, way, way, oh, right there, there, that's the caribou he's after. Keep what the hell mind, is a caribou? Is the 30 second mark of the video. About four minutes was all it took for the seed of Santa to get packed up like a Christmas present and turned into part of the past. But how dangerous are brown bears actually? Since 1784, there have been only 82 fatal brown bear conflicts in North America. Yellowstone surprisingly only has eight. From 2000 to 2015, there were a recorded 664 brown bear attacks around the world with 90. Bro, those people are looking at that too chill. Hey, listen, I'm not happy about what i'm about to say but if I, if i was in that situation yeah i am pushing a fat person in front of me and running the other way okay listen we we don't all have to die but somebody has to die okay and i, I am willing to make the sacrifice of you okay just saying just saying it's, i'm not happy about this but oh look at how ugly the small ones are got shot or trapped aka Ew. the person had it coming 20 percent were sudden encounters and an overwhelming 47 percent involved a female with a cub proving Ooh. that the only thing more dangerous than the bear boom a child, a child. no but really numbers say there's only 11 brown bear attacks in north america a year 40 if we're talking worldwide this is the upset of the black bears where brown bear and males attack are one in 2.1 million damn i do think bears suffer a lot from shark syndrome where the attacks might not happen often but when they do they're, they're usually brutal enough to go international yeah at the same time the worst case scenario scares me more than death itself so brown bears oh, that's a dummy grizzly bears get a merc rating of eight make that an 8.5 if you know, you know. Now the sloth bears are I don't an know. example of something I always say. You have to convince Wait. a predator you're worth the effort. Where
We're putting the slot bear up here. Prey will off you before you get the chance. Most bears see humans as a fellow predator. The problem is here. Hey, yo, that thing is disgusting. I don't want to look at that no more. got tiger trauma in their bloodline. They also get plenty of smoke from leopards, problems from dole packs, and somehow the same elephants and rhinos that are chill-ish around tigers have zero tolerance for the baloos of the world. And huh. all up, you get a floppy-faced termite eater that's also one of the most violently aggressive animals on the planet. You basically have a giant. Bro, that noise was disturbing. I don't want to hear. Oh, I got. Goosebumps from that. Honey badger with attitude and all the tools to follow through. It's prey trauma with predatory hardware. They don't really know how to kill. They just inflict as much pain as physically possible. <laughs> that's why many sloth bear victims end up with. <laughs> I had a cat like that once. That's their go-to move against tigers. A trauma bear with chimpanzee tendencies means they get a merc rating of nine. There's no good record of sloth bear attacks on people, oh. but it's the fact that they live on top of and kill more people than other bears that outnumber them. This is technically the most dangerous bear per capita. And it's the one named after a sloth. Yeah. In fact, one sloth bear was called the man-eater of Mysore after he killed 12 people and severely mauled another two dozen. In his defense, something like that's pretty rare, and it's believed the bear was injured is it still alive? and then went on a rampage. Not like the last bear, which is one of the few animals to see humans as prey. I'm gonna kill the suspense right now. The polar bear. I think there was a book my dad made me read about a tiger like that. The man-hunting tigers? I think they were brothers or something. Ten. It's pretty interesting. 1870 to 2014, only 20 people have been killed by polar bears out of 73 attacks. But it's the frequency that's scary. What yeah, but well, over there is not a lot of people there where there are polar bears. Attacks happened between 1960 Actually, the thing is polar bears in Canada. 20% happened from is 2010 there? to 2014. That means in this study, 20% of all polar bear attacks happened at less than 3% of the time. And that less than 3% was in the last four years. The polar bear is the only bear that classifies as a hyper carnivore. And they'll try anything from walrus. Are we looking at an attack or a love session here? This is to reindeer, and they'll even body a beluga whale. As you know, polar a bears whale? are the rare animals that'll actively hunt people. It's true what they say. If you see a polar bear in the wild, your expiration date's already stamped. They can smell a seal from almost 20 miles away, so you know when ice bear pulls up, it's Damn. no mistake. The Arctic op is such a threat in Churchill, Manitoba, it's common courtesy to leave car doors unlocked in case someone needs a four-wheeled panic room from a polar bear. <laughs> the same place, by the way, that has the Churchill Polar Bear Detention Center. Polar Bear it's Holding exactly Facility. What it sounds like it's an air-conditioned temporary holding cell for polar bears that get way too comfortable around people. No other Jesus. Bear a certified homicide Who catches them? Contact. But they wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for receding sea ice basically stranding a marine mammal on land. Mm. And like with black bears, it's a starving, desperate rogue males that are most likely to turn a human into a hashtag. And that's kind of the thing. Every bear on this list would easily put humans at a 10. Like I said, Asiatic black bears are the most common victims of bear bile forms. Sloth bears are often kept as dancing tourist traps, which involves brutal maimings and shoving a rope through their nose. Literally, through it. Oh. And despite the memes, humanity has done... That used to be a thing in Bulgaria when... My dad was growing up, they used to have these gypsy circuses where, with black bears, which is pretty much, I imagine it's like that, I've never seen them, but from what he tells me, it's pretty much like that, they'd make them dance to music. More two pandas than for them. Also, there's the fact that most bears want nothing to do with you. Mm. Literally, one of the best ways to avoid a bear is to actually make noise to give the bear a chance to avoid you. Yeah, that's what most predators. From a bear getting jump scared and making a decision. Well. Also you know, except sexual predators, those guys. You don't want to make noise for those guys. So there's bear spray, but bear spray is a lot like a seatbelt. You don't get into a car expecting to do a barrel roll down I-80, but the same way the seatbelt makes the worst case better, so does bear spray. In fact, you'll probably never use it. Moral of the story? <laughs> Bro, yeah, what is going on here? Bear wouldn't even choose us. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. If you rock His ass must have stank. I actually have an entire book on the concept. Yeah, Hunch dance, bro, dance. Can, you, you can read the title, and again, each... Daniel. Hundred animals that can, yeah, that can end. Okay, well, that was fun. I haven't watched one of his videos in a while, and it's as fun as I remember. Uh, like, subscribe. Let me know if y'all enjoyed this, and let me know which bear you wouldn't want to meet. Answer should be every bear. Bye, everybody.